Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with Jake again, and we're actually going fishing today. Out to special, oops, out to special fishing spot, going for a snook and mine cichlids. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and feed um, the bluegill in this pond a whole bunch of tilapia. So I'll let Jake do the honors. So indirectly, we're just feeding uh, birds. Yeah, I do have a bird problem with this pond, if that's what you meant. Yes. Okay, well, give me a second. Yep, that one's getting eaten. Yep, they just got eaten. Aww. If you throw a whole bunch here, they'll definitely come. Throw them all on the bank. They'll have to come and eat it from here for sure. They're just, I will come over here. They're just scared of you because they're not familiar with you. But I'm yeah. scared of me too. So we're out here at the spot again. The camera's in the car. Well, the camera's in my truck, but I don't want to, I don't want to drop my camera in the water. Oh. Anyways, we already caught two, my, three actually. Uh, we got the biggest one in the bucket right now because how dope would it be if we could put it in our fish tank? So I'm just recording right now in case Jake gets on a fish. Where is it? It's like right <laughs> No, cast it further out. Wiggly glee. Lose another piece of cloth, lose super Perfect, that's perfect. Just li sit there until you or your line gets pulled. Just leave it. Oh, there's even baby tilap. You see the babies? Yeah. There's a ton of babies coming up over the bridge. Oh, wait, I see some. I felt the tongue there. No. Something just ate, dude, something literally just ate this, and I'm, I have it between my legs, and something just, look it. Oh, look. It's like small. It's like a little middle? I can't even see what the color is. It's a little tilapia, baby tilapia trying to get my bait. Watch it. Aww. Is that the baby from earlier that we dropped? Okay. Well, there it goes. That was really cool. We just witnessed fish cannibalism. Maybe. Okay, so we're here at the spot and we managed to catch one mine cichlid. You guys just saw the clip before this. We were trying to get another one on camera for you guys, but the luck just wasn't there. So we got one in here. It was a pretty big fish um, and it's already tired out. Anyways, we're gonna head to Walmart so we could buy a bubbler and maybe like a lid or something. So yeah, we'll see you guys at Walmart. Is he still alive? So we got the fish in here, kind of moving. Two batteries, gonna pop them in here. Got some pinks in it. It's like me. Okay, now I have to bleep that. Don't put that in. <laughs> Boom, okay, cool. I got one of these at home, but I should have really brought mine. I was like, what are the odds I'll catch something, huh? And I got something. Okay. Given the power of force, hindsight, uh, 100%. Yeah. I also got a lid so that it would stop splashing all over him, but. Bucket sold separately, apparently. Who knew? Come on, clip on there. Try to get him to go again. All right, now just leave it in there and we just have to head home as soon as we can. He's moving again. Yay! Well, he's like moving his fan. All right, that's good. He just needs some oxygen. Cause I know tilapia don't do well in live wells, so I can imagine how well a mine cichlid would do. So we'll see you guys when we're back at home. So we made it home. I didn't, probably didn't have to make that sound effect. Um, but this is a fishy. He's been way more active ever since um, we put the bubble in, which is good. So, we're obviously gonna acclimate him for 10 to 15 minutes. I would do longer, but I feel like it was such a long drive and he's been in the bucket for an over an hour. Uh, I should probably cut it short. So I'm gonna do like 10, 15 minutes of cup acclimation and then I'll put him inside the fish tank. So, so I'm literally just gonna take this little cup every five, every like three minutes. Just do two scoops. And just slowly acclimate him that way. And he should be good. All right, guys, he's done acclimating. This is Captain Rice. Okay, so let me show you guys fish. I'm literally just gonna try to scoop him out if he lets me, and then throw him in the fish tank. So let's give it a go. Come on, Mr. Fish. 
<laughs> that is a negative. And I don't want to go through that again. I don't, I mean, he, capo he, rice, I don't like getting wet. He looks pretty alive to me, I'm yeah. honest. Yeah. Don't mind me over here. Okay, so round one, fish. <laughs> I got nets on nets. <laughs> Literally just pushed him into the net. Okay, he's in the net. How do you lose I'm just gonna quickly throw him over. Let's go. Things is bigger than my hand. Oh no! Don't do that. Oh, don't do none of that. Okay. Don't do none I of didn't that. I didn't throw him the splash zone. There oh. You know. Okay. He is obviously way darker than when we caught him. That's because when cichlids, so when cichlids get stressed, they actually um, get darker just because they're stressed. So after a little bit in the tank, he'll be doing way better. And um, since the sand is white, his colors will pop way more. So he just got to get used to the tank. He's obviously a wild caught fish. So he's playing with his reflection right now. I'll get an update for you guys in a few minutes like 30 minutes or an hour uh, if anything goes wrong I'll just put him in my pond because I already have other fish in there oh wow look at his fins you can already tell that he's been bullied in the um, area that we caught him he's been nipped at and stuff but I actually can't tell if it's a boy or a girl yet but they look so sick it's basically like an Oscar so yeah we'll see you guys when we got an update hey guys um it's like 12.47 in the morning. I usually stay up till like 3 in the morning, but I'm so tired all of a sudden because I woke up early. So that's why I'm whispering. But it's been a couple of hours, and I'm going to show you guys how the fish is doing. And just to let you know before I flip the camera, it's doing really well. So he was actually pretty active earlier. Um... He's swimming around and stuff, even more when the light was off. But now he's been sitting in that corner trying to rest. Well, there is the warmest spot, so that's probably why he likes it, but... Yeah. I'll catch you guys in the morning when I have a full update. Hey guys, welcome back to the next day. Yes, it is the next day here, and I'm here to give you guys the update on our Mayan cichlid. Oh, quick thing. I googled how much you could buy one of these for. Like, you could buy little ones for like 10, 15 bucks, but I wanted to Google how much a big jumbo sized one was, and $99 is what I got. Insane, but we got it for free, so here you go. Here's our mind cichlid, that's all his dookie right there. Looks like at the place they really just ate the algae off the concrete and stuff underwater, but oh, he's a little spooked, but. Can it focus? Is it focused? Yeah. Check that guy out. He looks awesome. I mean, his colors are pumping. Uh, he really goes from dark to light. When I turn the lights off, he goes to his darker tones, darker stripes. But when I turn the lights on, he comes becomes kind of lighter. Um, I guess he's really just trying to mimic the color of the sand. And when the lights are off, you can obviously tell the color of the sand also changes. Like it just gets darker. You see what I mean? So, I'm thinking that's what it is. So yeah, the fish is doing amazing. I cannot wait to train a wild fish to potentially eat out of my hands. I feel like that would be absolutely insane. We're gonna try to get that done though. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys the pond I was planning to put him in, in case the whole tank thing didn't work out. And I'll do a little feeding there too. All right, so I got my cut up tilapia right here into little chunks. I always pre-cut it, I found that easier. It is a gorgeous 70 degrees outside today. Amazing. You can see a bluegill right there. Oh, he just swam underneath. Oh, look at them. Hope you can see them. But I'm gonna drop the fish in here to um, defrost. Oh, wow. I need to do a big old water change because this pond is barely deep. It's just like the algae is so thick on it now. So. I'm gonna leave it right here. All right guys, the fish should be defrosted now, so let's go check it out. I put pajama pants on because, of course, in 70 degree weather, a Floridian would get cold, so. I wonder if you guys could see anything at that angle either. I 
I mean, you can see enough. Okay, cool. Booga won't eat in front of you right now. Um, so they're just gonna eat that up. I just wanna show you guys what I feed them. Now we can try to go ahead and feed a few pieces to our mind cichlid. Things of food in there. Obviously you can see the tilapia. I doubt he'll eat on camera. I mean, I just caught him, so. He is fed. All right, so just like that, guys, we've already fed our new cichlid as well as our outdoor pond some tilapia that was frozen and cut up. Um, hopefully in the future I'll be able to get more feedings for you guys, but I have done hand feedings um, with the bluegill in my pond out there, which was super cool. You guys should check it out on my channel. Um, but yeah, if you guys have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You do not want to be late to my videos, which is why you should also turn on your post notifications. I will see you guys in my next video, so stay tuned. Peace out. Stay wavy.